Hi, I'm Lizzie and this is Lizzie Reads and welcome to my Heartstopper Volume 3 and 4 reading vlog. This is so cute. I don't know. Is it one of my reading vlogs if I don't sit here on a Sunday morning looking dishevelled? I'm super emotional. And I don't normally get like watery eyed at books but if you read, if you watched one of my recent videos where I talked about how Heartstopper was Volume 1 and 2 were instant faves for me, I immediately went and bought our Heartstopper volumes three and four and I decided to do a reading vlog for these to sort of like reading vlog slash review slash gush slash obsess um, because I'm really enjoying doing mini vlogs at the moment which I will link like a playlist of down below. I'm so, so excited to get onto these books and enjoy this. So I'm going to start reading and I'll let you know when I'm like what I'm doing, how I'm enjoying, but I'm going to read and eat my lunch and then you'll see some vlog footage. Hopefully. I just want you to know that I'm three pages in and we're in like a four Quick, cute as fuck moment. The teachers, I'm so close to the end. The teachers are so cute. I just want to cry. Oh my god. I don't actually have a lot to say. I just I just wanted to vlog me gushing, I think. I think that's the whole point of this vlog. I just finished volume three, which is so exciting because it was so fun and it was so cute. Um it started actually to go into some more slightly serious topics, um, which I wasn't expecting. Um well, I say more serious, like different serious topics because it does deal with like um a lot of bullying and stigma and identity as well um it's really 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 nice really sweet um and i love the sort of like mi mixed media aspect like so you get their texts and uh, you get to see like when they're talking and, like search bars and stuff which is quite exciting and interesting and yeah i definitely really enjoyed this one another instant five stars it's so fun and i just know that i'm going to constantly be rereading them um and if you haven't read any of them yet um there is no like uh there's no distinct spoilers in this one um uh video but i will potentially i don't know I don't know, but I've got to go back to work, which is a shame because I just want to read the next instalment. It's so cute. I can't believe how quick and easy they are to read. They're literally going to be my go-to comfort reads. Is it one of my reading vlogs if I don't sit here on a Sunday morning looking dishevelled telling you about what I'm going to read? I don't think it is. Um, it is Sunday morning and I'm just about to pick Heartstopper Volume 4 up because I didn't get a chance to read it yesterday. Um, so I'm going to read Hot Stuff Volume 4 now and I'll probably read it from beginning to end and I'm probably going to cry. Can't wait to tell you more about it. Nick's concern for Charlie is so cute. I love it. She's in the book to hide the fact that I am super emotional. So I'm just watching Rose Sprints and I'm really, really close to the end. Um, and I'm really excited. I just thought I'd tell you that I had a real emotional response to something that happened before the end that I had to stop, get ready, and then come back to it because it was just so beautiful. Um, and it just really, I really felt it and I felt so emotional. And I don't normally get like watery eyed at books, but it did happen. So it's a testament to say how cute this book is. Hello, it is definitely a few days, quite a few days later now, and I just thought I would update you to say that I finished the book. I didn't update you after I finished On Rose Sprints, um, because I went to the beach shortly after. Um, I just thought I'd let you know that this series has been such a joy to read this month. Uh, the representation is beautiful, it's so varied, and it shows different experiences, like really positive experience, but also the negative side of things, and it talks about a lot of different mental health issues, and the way that these characters have conversations with each other is really, really what we want um, teenagers to sort of develop their conversation skills, and a lot of adults, um, I think they're really beautiful, and I would really recommend them to anyone. You can see that I'm so sort of 
I find the characters so sweet, but also I really respect the way they have their conversations and the way they deal with their problems. And I understand that there's lack of communication in some areas, but it's it's really it, it retains that element of realism, I think. Um, and I would really recommend them to any teenager to get a better understanding. So thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye. How the fuck have you fallen in love? I'm not a teenager anymore. If they're in real life, definitely they need to see a therapist and or probably kids in college like shagging each other or whatever. I entered into a fake dating relationship with someone. Not that's ever going to happen.